doing already? Well, it's already been formatted. Hey, little pig ear. There's a pig ear. Problem is, I can't um, I can't just stop this one, finalize it, or else then you know it'll be a waste of time. Now this one's a regular old R, the one that came with the camera. Oh. Can you not? Your blood will make my stew. Do you think that's the same crumpled from the ice show? Because I do. Oh, Who's that over there? Well, let me use it good. Olive Garden introduces two new Alfredos. New crab Benicia with tender, delicious snow crab in our homemade seafood Alfredo sauce. Or try new grilled steak and pork. I wanted you to keep rolling around over there. Both with and the breadsticks and salad. Don't you just love Mondays? Mondays are great. Olive Garden, when you're here, you're family. Upgrade your hey. wireless phone. Radio Shack not only has major carriers, top of the line phones, and the latest accessories, we also offer the helpful advice to make sure you upgrade to the exact phone you need. Which is why Radio Shack is your neighborhood wireless store. Matilda, how am I going to record you if you're so dang... Oh, my God, that's gross. Look at that. Let me see. Look at what the end of that. We're going to have to put that one away. Just one second. All right, Matilda. No, there they are on the left. The left. Good girl. Her voice is low class. Say I, a non-judge, skipping work. Alright, I'm going to go see Matilda. I think she's in bed. Her favorite place to be. Here we go. What will we find? You're not even asleep! Hey, Goober! Hey, Burr! Goober! Hey. Hey, boy. Hey. Hey, puppy dog. I thought you were going to be asleep. You're not asleep. You're just laying here. You're chewing on your little sticks. 
Puppy girl. Hey. Hey, girl. It's a snow truck coming up the street. Can we see the snow outside? Yeah, I see it. I thought you were going to be sleeping. Matilda. Matilda. You sleeping? I see you looking at me. Huh? All right, I'm gonna go back out. Hey, my name is Taco, and this is my story. I drove custom motorcycles. I'm working every day, leaning over, doing something. Like what are you looking your lips at so much? Huh? I feel my hands cramping up. I just had to do something about it. I take a leave, and basically, I I miss it in the day. The leave it makes a huge difference. Well, close to the end. Two more chances. Yeah, another day here. The party though. Yeah, this is my last two world party. Next year, I'm planning. You can throw it. No way. I'm playing. Well, if I'm playing and you playing, who won't throw the party? Warren that. I am my roommate and you're watching the NFL Network. It's over. Don't rub your antibiotic off your little lip flaps. Hey. Hey. I'm pause it again. What are you doing, little piglet? From the time we evaluate the and then we sit down with them so they get an understanding and a working knowledge of what nutrition means to their performance and how they can enhance their performance through optimal nutrition. Perhaps the biggest testament to the success of the program is that many current NFL players keep coming back. I came in here in 04 for pre-combine training, and since then, I've been coming back. This is my fourth year now. You get knowledge when you come out here. It's not just about, hey, we're just going to train you. We're not going to tell you a reason why we do it. We're going to tell you why we do it. And when you understand, when you leave away from here, you still can continue and do those things. And so it always brings guys back. I think that's one of the biggest things. Once you come here once, it's like a lay of potatoes. If you know, you can't just have one. You want to keep coming back. One thing is certain. After training here for the last six to eight weeks, these athletes are ready for what lies ahead. You're looking a little bit sleepy. You know, I've been working at this all my life since I was eight years old. You know, just to finally, you know, get there. It was just a whole bunch of emotions. Just to look back how hard we worked to get to this point. Um, we definitely played off. Overall, this new top to bottom has punched the numbers out there. And from Fran Charles, we go to our Adam Schefter, who's caught up with Ted Thompson, the general manager of the Green Bay Packers. Thank you very much, Paul. Ted Thompson has just emerged from watching the offensive linemen and tight ends work out at today's work. And Ted, 
Craig, what do you see from that group of players inside the dome? Well, I think every year it's a little more impressive, and maybe it's because of the network coverage we're getting here, but and certainly the agents are doing a good job, the players are doing a good job, but the offensive line is a group that came in there in very good shape. Uh, we had a couple of nicks, hamstrings, and things like that, but, but otherwise they were in good shape. They lifted well yesterday. They worked out well today. The tight end group, very athletic, caught the ball great. We had very few balls on the ground. Uh, the quarterbacks that were showing today, they were sort of auxiliary guys, but they did a good job. And all in all, it was a success for them. You mentioned quarterbacks. Everybody knows Brett Favre has made the decision to come back. How did that news, how did you feel about that when you heard? You're looking and sounding very sleepy, girl. Great news, uh, certainly for myself. Take a nap. I'm a big fan of Brett. And, uh, he's a good quarterback for the Packers. We're happy to have him as a Packer. Take a nap. A football league and football fans everywhere for Brett Favre to be playing said the Packers have the 16th overall pick in the April draft. What will be your approach heading into the draft holding the 16th overall selection? Well, when you're picking at 16, you know, we were five last year, which is way too high. Uh, I prefer being... Total access from the scouting combine. Linebackers and defensive ends. We will take a closer look tonight at 70... It's a little bit sleepy. Sleepy. You really get $150,000 more sleepy. So sleepy. Matilda. Matilda. Are you so sleepy? You're sleepy. 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 We need some entertainment for the camera, Matilda. Jeez. Got 18 minutes left on this disc. All right, I'm going to pause it and don't do anything cute till I'm ready. What are you doing with that stick? Besides grossing it up. Let me chop off this end, okay? I'm going to pause it for a second. There you go. Where I can see it. Matilda. Oh Lordy. Well, just give her a pet where I can. A few minutes left on this thing. Oh, look at the girl. Her daddy's home. Oh, she feel good. It is the first thing she grabbed, I think. Well, no, she picked the third thing that made the most progress. She ain't done much sleeping. Really? Oh, God. 
<laughs> Lord, she just picked. <laughs> I don't know about this thing. Huh? I don't know about that thing. Like a piece of a thing, Matilda. It always goes back to that, though, even when it's a toy. See, she missed it. She put it down all the way as she was trying to put it <laughs> Now there's a ball, tennis ball, flying. Make a grab for the toy. Hmm? What the hell? She called it. She's pretty good at that if you can give her some business to work a We got 11 minutes. Mischievous. Are you mischievous or are you just mischievous? I hope Matilda is mischievous. Matilda, go get a toy. How about a rope? Jerry, get a rope over there, see? I'm pointing at it. There. <laughs> huh? Get her rope. There. 
Matilda, we're wasting tape. Pumpkin pie filling as a flavor thing. Uh huh. Jerry. And you're stinging up the house. There's Tater. Mate! Put Tater. Tater! Tilda, are you sleepy? Matilda. Jerry, go get a rope. I got eight minutes. I have food. You get a rope. I'm sensing a great threat. We need to be a family once again. March 23rd. And hours we'll lose to see the monsters. I have to disagree with you. Come on, focus. Look at that song, Matilda. Theaters, March 23rd. It's been 25 years. 25 years since we first made our mark in America. 25 years of building a buzz. Of turning drivers into fanatics. 25 years of proving that Mitsubishi's next 25 years are going to be even more thrilling than the last. Very nice. No. Oh, right. God, that was so cool. Everybody's looking at you like whizzing by, and then out of nowhere, Richie just pulls this really. I wasn't going for one. Matilda. Back. <laughs> but, uh, you know, from here, it hey, girl. sounds like Mr. Doug wants to buy himself a motorcycle. You know what? I am a little tempted. Moose, you should see the guy that I got mine from. He's got some real beauty. He's cheap. Alrighty, here's my office. Here's my door. My coats. My bookshelves. Got a high ceiling. I'm sort of in, I'm in the basement. Um, bookshelves. My skateboards. Pictures. See me at Horn Island and Sue and Ma and Gomer.